Welcome to another episode of Santor Snakes. On this episode, I'm going to tell you a little scary story about Mr. Steve here. Thank you to everyone that likes and subscribes. Now cue that intro. So to start off, let's introduce you to Steve. He is a red bearded dragon. He's super cool, super fantastic personality. We love him to pieces. He's a fantastic eater. And that's actually what we're talking about today. So this guy loves hornworms. Uh, hornworms are also called tomato worms and they are normally green because they eat tomatoes, but if they are for reptiles, then they're more of like a turquoise blue, and that's what helps them be safe for reptiles. But this guy uh, accidentally ate something that looks like a hornworm, but wasn't. So this whole story starts a couple weeks ago Carter and I are just hanging out on a weekend, and I'm like, I'm going to let Steve out. Now, he likes to run around and explore, and I did not check the floor, and that's a big, big mistake, because uh, Carter, the night before, was making some rubber band bracelets, and I did not see that there was a completed bracelet on the floor. This bracelet just so happened to be mostly turquoise with a little bit of gold in it. Looks pretty delicious for a certain someone. So I let him out, don't think anything of it. Carter comes in the room just in time to see Steve chomping down on this thing and Carter's able to rush over and get some of it out but uh, I got bitten in the process, but Carter's is convinced that he's eaten about 10 or 12 of these rubber bands. Um, that's not a good situation. You never know if it's gonna pass through okay or not. So we quickly took Mr. Steve to an emergency vet and they were able to put him under and go in there with a scope and a little um, little like grabbers and pull out some of these rubber bands that he had swallowed. Now it's, it's insane. <laughs> the amount that was in his belly, because it was not 10 or 12. It, I'm just so impressed, uh, surprised that he was able to eat this big old piece. No. So it's over 20 for sure. Still all bound together, gold and turquoise. So right size, right shape, close enough color. It has the same squishiness to it. But of course, with those powerful teeth, he was able to just bite right through and swallowed a good chunk of it. We wanted to mention this story to you guys just to hopefully prevent you or someone that you know from having a similar situation. It was an expensive visit to an emergency vet, but of course 100% worth it. This guy is absolutely incredible. We love him dearly. He is family. 
Um, obviously, we don't want to pay for that again. And if sharing my mistakes and I think helps you and prevents you from having to spend a, a lot of money on something that was honestly preventable, then I'm all for it. So when you let your reptiles out to roam, really take take a moment and look around, make sure that there's nothing that they can get stuck behind or under or eat off of the floor, things like that. It's It can be a lifesaver. We are so fortunate to have Steve still with us today. He's in great health. He's you know, normal energy levels, normal eating, everything has been good for the last couple of weeks since he's been back with us. Um, you know, everything's great, but it obviously could have gone very, very wrong. And we feel lucky that it went so well. We do have a couple of pictures that we will share with you guys. Just a warning, one of the pictures is of Steve's stomach and you can actually see the chunk still in his stomach. So pretty cool, but might make a few of you squeamish. So be warned. Here, Steve's mouth is being held open by gauze and you've got the camera shooting down there. There's a good shot of it in his stomach. There it is pulled out on a mat. And there's Carter's finger when it was bit. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for learning with us, and we'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to tell your story, because you did something super silly. Everybody needs to know. Okay? Maybe we can help another bearded dragon. Okay? It's not to embarrass you. If anyone should be embarrassed, it's me saying, I normally only eat things that move, but oh, that rubber band bracelet looks so delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who's that guy? Who is that? Is that you? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Is that you? I don't care who that is.